What's up guys? It's Key. And today I'm back with my part two of Terms to Know Before You Get to Campus. And if you haven't seen part one yet, make sure you go watch that first because, you know, it'll give you a little insider on what I am doing for you. And if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified whenever i post and if you're not new what's up fam how you doing i saw you last time did you saw pizza right right okay part one was you know it was like more input from everybody i went to howard twitter and asked and got replies from them but this one i kind of sat down and thought about on my own because i wanted it to be as serious and informational as possible so I got my laptop right here, and it's got all the terms that I thought of. So if y'all see me looking, that's why. Let's get started. Bison bucks, and that is the money that you or your family member puts on your Bison One card for laundry, vending machines, um, food places like pot bellies, and that like, you can use Bison bucks as an alternative, I think. If you run out of dining dollars and if you run out of sweats, I think, but don't quote me on that one. And bison bucks do not equal dining dollars. And I made this mistake when I got to campus. I thought that bison bucks and dining dollars were the same thing. So like I went to Pot Billy's and they saw they took bison bucks and was like, oh, I got 300 dining dollars. I'm gonna use them. And I didn't have no bison buck money. Still got my sandwich though. Dining dollars is the currency that is used in punch out C stores, Sankofa, and the calves when you run out of swipes or if you just choose to use your dining dollars. Um, I think those are, can only be used on the Howard campus. I don't think you can use those anywhere else. Swipes is the amount of entries you're allowed in the calf during the week or the semester. It depends on your meal plan. And when you get here, you'll get the 14 block not the 14 block, the 14 meal traditional plan by default. But my advice to you guys would be to go during like, right when you get here, go to the HU1 stop shop and change it to the either the 140 meal block or the 170. I have the 170 just because I don't go to the calf like, the, one, the 14 meal is 14 meals a week and I know I don't go to the calf 14 times a week. So instead I get 170 swipes a semester plus 350 dining dollars. You want more dining dollars, honestly, because you'll go to the C-Store a lot more than you anticipate. And like right now, I got like 100 dining dollars left, so. Um, Founders, it's the big library on campus. The older one, the more traditional one. That's right in the yard. It separates the upper quad from the lower quad. But nobody calls them the upper quad and lower quads except for the maps. So the upper quad equals the yard. The yard is the heart of the campus to me. It's where like everything happens for the most part. Like that's where you see all the celebs. That's where all the D9s are out. Everybody's just out having fun on a good day when it's really warm. There's parties out there. You would just be turning up on the yard. And that's like the best place to take pictures. It's surrounded by founders, Douglas, um, Carnegie, the Theater Arts Building, Blackburn, and Lock Hall. The lower quad equals the valley, and that is the area across from this quad, my dorm, with the steps. Y'all seen the pictures, that's where the valley is. Um, you'll catch people hanging out here at night and during the day, but mostly at night. And a tip for the ladies that live in quad, if you want to go to Georgia Ave for food or anything, um, cut through the valley because it's quicker and you don't have to, yeah, just cut through the valley. You don't have to go across crosswalks or anything. Just cut through the valley and you'll be right on Georgia Ave before you know it. Georgia Ave is the main road off of campus and it has the McDonald's, the bookstores, Starbucks, Pot Bellies, Chipotle, and you know, it's just, it's like one of the bigger more known roads on campus you'll go there a lot trust me annex annex is a dorm and a calf area so i mean normally when people talk about annex they're saying it as the food they like you go to annex they don't mean are you going to the dorm 
But if you ask somebody where they live and they say annex, they don't live in the calf. They live in the annex dorm. Also, there's a C store in annex, and it's right beside CHN, which is College Hall. Blackburn is also a calf, but it's also more than a calf. It's the center. It's off the yard a little bit, and um, C store, Sankofa, Punch Out, and Blackburn Calf is located downstairs. Um, big events are also held here, like orientation events. Um, certain speakers come, and that's like a lot of the upstairs is used for that. And there's also a bowling alley downstairs and like down downstairs, but I don't know what's going on with that. Food truck is for late night munchies when you're hungry and you know the cafe is closed and so is the store. Or the food truck is outside of CHS more towards the weekends and it's pretty good food for a food truck. You know, First Friday is an event held on the first Friday of every month, hence the first Friday. Oh, clever name. Um, it's usually held in Punch Out, but I know when we came, it was like first Friday. It was the first first Friday as freshmen, and they held it outside of Blackburn. I think a lot of people were mad about that, but it was just to welcome us. So it, I'm sure there might be one held outside of Blackburn for a freshman, but don't hold me to it. Just to impress, you will leave a mess. Especially if First Friday is in Punch-Out, cause Punch-Out is not that big, and Howard student body is, and all those bodies in that place, and it's not good, so I wouldn't do it. Howard Twitter is the majority of your timeline full of Howard students. Like, you follow so many Howard people, that the only tweets that pop up are like from power students and so they're Howard related sometimes and you know it's full of laughter, pettiness, shade, arguments, arguments that's the funny ones because you can sit there and watch people argue on Twitter you know it's Howard Twitter we love Howard Twitter it'd be popping during the breaks too like winter break, Thanksgiving break, spring break, Howard Twitter is a mess. It's like the shade room, but just Howard version. And so, that is my terms to know before you get to campus part two. And like I said, if you haven't checked out part one, go check that out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you're notified whenever I post. Thanks for spending time with Keith. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.